This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today in this video, I wanna do a quick review over the AE Juice Pack Manager 3 plugin for After Effects. This is a free plugin, again, a free plugin for After Effects that is pretty much an asset library for a lot of your motion design stuff. But it's also a lot more than that. It can manage your own assets. It has a lot of cool features that you might want to use in your own projects, aside from their asset library. So let's go and talk about this a little bit more. Now I wanna clarify and make it very clear that I am working with AE Juice on this video review. So they are sponsoring this video review, but they're not dictating my opinions. All the opinions that I express in this video are pretty much my own as always. I'm not influenced by the software companies or anything like that. So these are my objective opinions, the pros and cons. I'm gonna tell you guys the pros and cons, the objective um, thoughts on this plugin here. Um, but just wanted to make that very, very clear as always. Um, so you can go to aejuice.com, and by the way, we're actually going to be giving away five free copies of AE Juice's um, Liquid Elements pack here. So just stay tuned to the end of the video to find more information about that. But we are giving away um, things to five different people here on YouTube here. So if you go to aejuice.com, you can download this pack manager. Uh, it's a free plugin for After Effects again uh, for Windows and Mac. And pretty much it's free, install it, it's all good. Um, but they also have expansion libraries here. And so you have stuff like liquid transitions, uh, liquid elements, the monster transitions, shape elements, which is um, one of my favorites basically. Um, but the liquid elements pack is their biggest pack yet. I think it took them like two years to make. Um, it's very, very, very expansive. And I'm going to kind of dive into that right now. But I'm also gonna show you guys what you can do with some of the free assets that you can use here. Um, so this is pretty much the AE Juice Manager, right? When you um, download it, install it, it's gonna be under Windows. You're gonna go to AE Juice Manager, uh, Pack Manager 3 and open it. And it's basically like a panel right here. And this is probably the most fluid dynamic plugin I've ever used that um, kind of makes it flawless to use assets, put it that way. There are quite a few different um, software companies that kind of make like asset libraries. You can find them on Video Hive and stuff like that. So if you purchase any of their packs, you can actually log in here and type in your credentials and you can actually download all the little assets here, libraries, right from the plugin itself. Um, so you don't have to go and download separate installers and stuff like that, it's pretty annoying. So this works pretty flawlessly. And so basically you have these purchased um, element libraries here, which you may not have. Um, and you also have the starter pack here. So let's go ahead and dive into the starter pack. So everyone gets the starter pack for free. If you download this thing, you're gonna get a starter pack. And it's a lot of really useful assets here. So if you're doing a lot of motion graphics here, um, this is gonna this is gonna get you started pretty fast. And um, as you can see, we can change the uh, the thumbnail icon so you can see more of it. Um, you have the nice animation to show you what you're getting here. And you have like pops, sparkles, you know, fireworks. You have really nice um, shape transitions, um, sparks, fire. Um, whole bunch of futuristic glow, uh, HUD display items, tech tech items and stuff like that. So it's a it's a pretty nice um, starting library just to kind of get you started with the AE Packs Manager here. Um, and so this is really cool stuff. And so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the liquids pack here. This is the most expansive pack I've ever seen. So you have all these categories here of just different stuff like animals, smoke, cigarettes, liquid, blood splatter, fire. These are really, really popular nowadays. Fire elements, campfire, stuff like this. Um, little accents, squiggly lines, kind of like swooshes and smokes and nice little accent transitions here. Um, one of my favorites here are the material tears here. So these are really, really popular. You see these a lot actually. People try to imitate this uh, in Cinema 40 and stuff using cloth and stuff. Um, but these are kind of like these Shape tear, these are really, really nice transition to kind of transition between different scenes. Um, little liquids here that can kind of be used for, I don't know, info infographics or whatever. Um, you know, more explosive twirls, smokes. Um, so, you know, the library is massive, a lot of liquids. Um, this is really, really nice because a lot of people aren't really familiar with cell shading and kind of like traditional animation. So this kind of gives you that look as if you're doing like traditional animation. Um, you know, frame by frame, nice kind of cell style animation here. Um, and so whether you're using the starter pack or whether you're using the liquid elements pack, it's pretty much the same process here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, now you can actually dock this, but I think that this thing is so massive to where, you know, like why would you dock this? Um, I'm gonna create a blank comp here. And so to apply this thing, it's as simple as, let me just make this smaller. It's as simple as just like finding an asset that you like 
and you, you can either double click on it and it's gonna add it pretty much instantaneously. Or so as you see here, we have the asset right here. Really quick, really easy. Or you can pretty much click and drag. This is a really convenient feature. So you can just like click one of these, click one of these right here, make sure it's highlighted and just drag it into After Effects. And just like that, you have the asset um, fully in After Effects. And the really cool part is that these are natively designed in After Effects. So you're not getting any weird vector files from Illustrator or stuff like that. If you actually hop in here and go into the composition, you can see that these are just shape layers, hand animated by professional designers here to give you that nice, organic, natural look. And you know you can go in here and you can manipulate the shape layer. You can actually change the path and you know change the animation, speed it up, add your own twist to it. You can go here and go to the controls. You can change the you know the control uh, the uh, the color of the thing. So we can make it like I don't know, like orange. And as you can see, we have this default three D style that I I selected on accident here. So I'm gonna show you more about that. So basically, you can you know you can like you have all these controls, angles, quality, extrude. Um, and so you have all these controls. So this is all customizable within After Effects. You don't need to stick with these default assets here. This is kind of just to get you started. Um, so the liquid elements has a ton of elements that you can kind of play around with. I think any designer could benefit from these kind of accents to kind of get you uh, up and running here. Um, all native in After Effects, you can edit. But the cool part is, so this is already an expansive library as it is. Um, but the really cool part about this plugin, and I think this also works with the starter pack here, but there's this little wrench icon right here. If you click on it, it brings up the liquid element styles. So these are all the styles available for the liquid elements pack. So what you saw me do just previously was I imported an asset, but it's using the extruded 3D style right here. Um, but as you can see, there's way more variation. So you have this little glow, glow style to fit okay. Uh, and then I select, I don't know, let's find a really cool asset here. If I selected like this flame, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. If I select this flame asset and just double click, you're gonna get that kind of like glowing, um, kind of like anime style uh, flame instead of the kind of orange flame based on our style. So you have like a ton of assets here and you have a ton of variation within here. And then you can also go in and edit the controls yourself within the composition too. So the, the kind of possibilities are kind of endless here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna show you guys one more style here. Let's go ahead and this is kind of like my favorite style right now because it's kind of in trend, this kind of inner shaded grainy uh, texture here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a flame asset here, move aside and Let's see, you might be able to recognize this texture if I kind of make it more emphasized here. Also keep in mind that wherever your playhead is, that's where it's gonna apply the asset. So make sure your, your timeline indicator is where you want it to add. Basically the style right here is that kind of like the inner grainy shadow look that everyone's doing nowadays. Um, this is a pretty cool kind of little texture here to add to um, kind of your style. This is very, very popular nowadays. So this will make it a lot easier to apply that style. Now also, I wanna to touch up on some of the free things that you can do. So this little thing here called my pack, this is actually not a pack, this is actually your pack. So basically, this is an empty manager right here. And basically, it allows you to manage your own assets. So for example, I have this, um, this kind of like basic poppy animation right here that we've created in the past tutorial. If you haven't seen that, check that out in the video description down below. This is just a quick tutorial that I did previously. Um, and so let's say I wanted to reuse all these little circle assets all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this plus button. It's going to render out a quick preview of this composition, just so that it has kind of like a GIF to display it. And just like that, you can see that we have our poppy kind of circle composition right here in the my packs with a nice little preview showing you what it's gonna look like. And we can import that into any composition we want. Just double click or click and drag. And as you can see, we have our pops right here ready to go. And you can pretty much organize all your assets, all your elements this way in the AJUICE Pack Manager 3 in your My Pack. And you can reuse your assets pretty much 
um, any way you want really quickly, really easily without having to import any projects or you know copy and paste any compositions in. This is a really quick way of doing it. And the cool part is you can actually go into the styles right here and you know select a, a different style for your own assets. And so if we go ahead and delete that and reapply, it should apply with a brand new style here. I think this is kind of like a, yeah, kind of like a pixelated style right here that we selected. So overall, let's talk about the pros, the cons, and everything else about this plugin here. So what I do like is that I like how integrative this whole thing is to their own service here. So I think it's very, very nice that you can easily download all their asset libraries quickly within the plugin itself. Um, I like how it's not completely useless without their assets, uh, how you can have your own free starter pack, as well as how you can import your own stuff like into your my packs and manage it that way. Um, so I think it's very, very nice. The libraries, especially the liquid elements library is massive and it's very, very customizable. And I like how you can add um, on top of these assets, you have different styles that also work for your own assets. So these are very, very nice, very nice, expansive library. Um, so overall, I think it's a very, very nice um, in, well integrated plugin to manage your assets like this. Um, the cons is that I sometimes I find that undoing doesn't necessarily work. So if I add this asset in sometimes and you know, it's all good, it all works, but let's say I don't like this, this asset anymore. And I just hit like undo. I find that sometimes it doesn't work for me. I'm not sure if that's my mistake. Um, but that can be, um, a problem. I think sometimes for me anyways, um, also let's see here. Let's, if I just apply a different asset here, if I just apply this asset, um, so obviously there's controls, but in order to go to those controls, I have to open the composition and go to the controls and change, you know, the color that way. And I really wish that these, um, controls were just placed onto the outer composition. Now, I think I may know why they did it this way and from a technical standpoint. Um, but it'd be nice to be able to just, uh, you know, click on the asset itself and control the controls that way, rather than having to double click in here and changing it this way. And you don't really know what it looks like in the mater in the greater composition right here. Yeah. So I wish the controls were there. Um, let's see what else. Um, I think in the starter pack or sorry, in the, my pack, um, I'm not really sure if there is a way to like create a subfolder within, I mean, I haven't figured this out yet. I haven't figured out how to create a folder within the my pack. So if you have a lot of different assets for a lot of different clients, it'd be kind of nice to um, create folders for your own packs right here. Uh, maybe that's just my misunderstanding, um, but that would be great. Oh, another positive thing is that you can actually star certain assets and favorite them so that you can hop back to them pretty fast. Um, that's pretty cool. Search um, search bar here to search whatever you want. You want. Um, but yeah, this is the AE Juice Pack Manager 3. We're actually giving away five copies of the Liquid Elements Pack right here to five of you guys watching this review. So basically, all you have to do to enter is pretty much comment on this video saying what you like best about AE Juice Pack Manager 3. So like, what do you like about this plugin right here? It's a free plugin. What do you like about it? Just comment it down below and um, we will contact you within like seven, five to seven days um, if you win. And it will give you a code for the Liquid Elements Pack. And if you want to double your chances, you can go ahead and like tweet it or whatever. Make sure you mention um, my Twitter as well as AE Juice's Twitter. But basically to enter, just enter your YouTube comment down below, share the video, you know, give it a thumbs up, all that stuff um, to support the channel and support them. And we'll be giving away five licenses to you guys uh, right before the holidays. So pretty cool stuff. A juice pack manager three and overall a solid plugin. Um, you can't really go wrong with it because it's a free plugin, you know, like it does what it does and it does more than what it does for it itself. Um, you know, it helps you manage your own asset libraries and stuff like that. So pretty cool plugin by a juice pack manager three. I want to thank them for, you know, sponsoring this video as well as, you know, providing free copies to you guys, um, five of you guys anyways. Um, before we go, I want to go and thank our quick sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform that makes it very, very easy to create your own website, whether it's for your online store, business, or portfolio. They have awesome themes to choose from, fully customizable to make the website look the way you want it to look like, 
They have awesome 24 hour support. Best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it guys. That's AE Juice Pack Manager 3. It's a very, very awesome pack to manage your assets and have your own starter pack and you know, um, download additional packs if your work requires stuff like that. Um, it's a nice little library to have and I think overall it's very, very affordable considering how many assets you're getting. Um, and stuff like that. So go ahead and check out the other packs here. Um, I like the liquid elements pack. I like the shape layers pack, um, but check out the other element packs here. But this is pretty much a juice pack manager three. Check it out, download for free, play around with it in After Effects. My name is Vincent Wynn from the Creative Dojo. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.